everyone, Siobhan Moran here, and there's this wonderful book out in the world called Persuasion by Robert Cialdini, and it's very intense, but the point of today's topic is, are you being persuaded by someone else, by a past, by an idea, maybe even an ad. I remember going to India and not being exposed to ads because I was high up in the mountains and I wasn't exposed to billboards or ads or anything like that. And when I came back and started driving on the freeways here in Southern California, I thought, wow, that's a lot of advertising. That's a lot of uh, impressions that I could adopt and accept or pretend to ignore. And so when you're away, it's easier to see these kind of things. And so I'd encourage you to you know, travel more. But the point of today's topic is, if you want to get to that next level, you have to learn to be your own persuader. Most people are not their own persuaders. Most people are actually being persuaded by something that they don't want. So oftentimes when I have a conversation with folks, uh, people will say, oh, I don't want this. Okay, but I ask what you do want. And most people tend to go toward what they don't want. And if you cannot persuade yourself to understand or know or dive into what you truly want, then you're gonna need a hand up. And so those people who are going to be higher growth are going to be persuaded, meaning they're going to work on themselves on a regular and consistent basis, on their mind, their energy, their body, their relationships, their business, and they're going to look for places that maybe they're complaining, maybe that they're saying they can't, they won't, they couldn't, they wouldn't, they shouldn't. There's a lot of those that pretty much every business owner I've ever dealt with has ever said to me, no matter what the size of the business, with very few exceptions. And and if those are in the way, those are persuading you into not being able to grow or achieve or expand your whole vision and consciousness and your whole empire, if you want an empire. Maybe you don't want an empire, maybe you want a baby empire. It's still an empire. Anyway, what are you being persuaded with? Who are you being persuaded by? Who are you being uh, persuaded for? And do you have your own self-persuasion, ritual, routine, process, thing that you do every day, day in and day out? That is important. That is essential. That is where you're going to have rubber and road meet and successes start to occur. Um, hey, my name is Siobhan Moran, and I help you learn to persuade yourself and get out of others having persuaded you so that you can find your own dynamic, active, and most prosperous way forward. Anyway, you can find me at SiobhanMoran.com, S-H-E-E-V-A-U-N-M-O-R-A-N.com, and you know what to do. Subscribe, like, share, do something amazing with yourself, and comment because comments are the things when I have a conference and people are reluctant to come to the mic and ask their question because maybe it's a dumb one. Hey, I get it. And, uh, but the people who come to the mic, the people who make a comment actually are the ones who get the expanded vision that ability to see how to persuade themselves into something more better beautiful, abundant, prosperous. Anyway, Siobhan Moran here. Have an awesome day. I'm driving for success. Let's do this again real soon.